Okay, today I'm gonna to talk about brows and lips. What am I missing today? Definitely brows and lips, right? So I'm gonna show you my tips on brows and lips today. So thank you so much for joining. Remember to like and comment. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I love bringing these videos to you. I want to do more of them on a weekly basis. So let me know what other topics you would like to learn about and um, just what things are, are of value to you. And I'd love to bring those tips to you. Uh, we have been covering uh, several different subjects when it comes to our color uh, from just how to get that flawless kind of um, a high definition glow with concealers, under eye corrector, um, choosing the right foundation for yourself, um, how to do kind of a date night eye look as well with um, accent colors, mid-tones, and um, and uh, highlighters as well. So lots of tips I've been able to share with you and um, also primers going all the way back to the beginning of putting on a great face is making sure that we are primed and ready. So uh, I hope that you found those uh, videos helpful. If you didn't have a chance to watch them, make sure to go back and check them out. Uh, they are there and available for you to um, to watch. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Margaret and uh, I'm excited to be sharing my uh, beauty tips. I've been in the beauty industry for over 25 years and I'm passionate about sharing uh, all these awesome products and just how to bring your inner beauty out and enhance the, the beauty that you already are, the beautiful you that you already are, and just have those, those products and those um, tips that just help you feel more confident and show off the uh, the uh, beautiful features that you've been given. So um, I'm going to show you now here just a little bit of a, kind of a, a, a marker, I guess, to show you where to apply your brows first. So we want to make sure that the brow, um, you know, shapes the eye as best as possible. So the first thing to do would be to make sure some of you probably thread your brows. Some of you maybe do some waxing. Um, maybe just you do your own tweezing, but you want to get a nice eye brow shape done. So if you haven't done that in a while, go to a professional, have them um, shape your brow for you. Okay. And then you can just maintain that. So once you get a nice shape going, then you can maintain it. But one of the, um, places here to know how far over you should have the center of your brow or the this far end of your brow is by holding a pencil literally by your by your nose going straight up and down your brow should go no farther in than where this pencil is okay and then to find out where your art should be what you do then is you're going to tilt the pencil and go across your um, pupil and from there, that is where the art should be, okay? And then we go one step further here on the end, and you should make sure that your brow does not extend any lower than this position here. So hopefully you saw that. <laughs> so straight up and down for how far over your brow should be. So we should have nothing in between here. We wanna go just to this point, and then we're gonna go over here across the iris there and right up here is where the tip of the art should be and then if you go a little bit farther over this is the end of where your brow should be so no further down than that what that will do is just draw the 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 eye look down um and we want it to be bright and open right and lifted that's our that's our goal so first thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to apply my blonde um color that's the one i'm wearing of our precision brow liner so I love our brow liners because they are literally precision. If you can kind of see, it's a very small tip and that tip allows you to get little tiny strokes, okay, to make it look a little bit more natural. So what I'm doing first is I'm kind of going right up like that to kind of give the, the edge of the brow first, okay? So I'm kind of coming up this way and then I'm kind of going underneath to sort of um, uh, almost like pencil outline your brow. Okay. So for some of us, we're going to be like filling in a little bit more. Some of us, we're going to be making it pretty thick, but I'm going right on top here now up to the arch and then I'm coming down a little bit. And I know I'm blonde, so I really need brows. 
otherwise you kind of just look washed out. But I'm doing little feathery strokes now across here. So there we go. And I'm just kind of filling in. You want it to look natural. So it is important to use a um, precision liner that is best matched to your hair color. Okay. So there's that. So how about that? So look at the difference between the two eyes with just the precision brow liner. So let's go ahead and get this other side done. So I'm going up first, kind of outlining where I want my brow to be. Going up there and then over, because this is right where I kind of want the peak of the arch. And then underneath here, kind of filling in. Oops, my hair's in the way. There we go. All right. And now I'm doing short little strokes up like that. So many people are scared to use brow liners because they're afraid of their eyes or eyebrows rather looking painted on. Well, if you apply them that way, <laughs> then that's how they're going to look. Um, but we want it to look as natural as possible. So when you have the right tools and the right product, then it really helps you to have the right application to make it look so here I'm, I'm just making sure I'm not going any farther over than that. So make sure I don't go down. And this side is always a little, this side goes on really nice because I'm right-handed. You can see how it's a little bit thicker. So I always have to go back and try to do that to the other side here. So the next product I'm gonna put on is our Volumizing Brow Tint. This is kind of like setting your brows and I use a color blonde. We have blonde and dark blonde, so that's why I'm specifying. Um, we have blonde and dark blonde. I happen to um, prefer blonde for me. If I had a little bit more red or more brown in my hair or um, warmer skin tone, then you probably would want to go with a dark blonde. Um, but this blonde works well with just my coloring. So. What this is, is it's almost like um, mascara for your eyebrows. <laughs> it's it's kind of like that. It thickens, it lengthens, and it fills out. Now on a daily basis, I do just what I just did, the, um, the brow liner. If I'm going to go a little bit more dramatic, then I'm gonna use this volumizing brow tint. Just a little tip, this product, you scrape it on the side like that because a lot of product gets on here and you do not want a lot on your eyes. So what you do now is you do little short strokes and you'll kind of see the difference. It just lifts the um, hairs up a little bit and just makes the brow a little fuller and thicker looking. And then it's also going to set it so it doesn't change, right? It just stays in place. So there we go. All right, so how about that? See the difference between the two with the volumizing brow tint? So this is more dramatic, obviously, but um, the more dramatic your look is overall, then the more dramatic you want your brows to be. So there you go. And I just kind of go up and over like that. So that is with the volumizing brow tint. So let's do that on the other side here, just to get that done. And I just kind of, again, just kind of brush up. You see how it kind of lifts the hairs a little bit when I do that, but I just like it. It's just super easy. And we've got this in, of course, all different um, shades for all different hair colors, but that's the volumizing brow tint. Isn't that awesome? It's super simple to use, super easy. And then these brows are not moving. They are just gonna stay right there and stay beautiful. I think my Afraid to put too much more on but there we go all right so how is that so now my eye my eyes are coming alive all right so brow pencil precision liner volumizing brow tint and then we're going to finish up with our lips so we have a lovely lovely lip liners um light nude medium nude dark nude we've got all the nudes um and we also have a really pretty rose color and I think I'm gonna use the rose because I have a poetic pink I'm gonna to apply to my lips today. So it's just a very sheer uh, pink lip look. So remember, I do have my age fighting lip primer on already. So I've got that on there. And then I'm just gonna apply my lip liner 
If you want your lips to be fuller, you're gonna line a little bit outside the natural lip line. If you need them to look thinner, you're gonna go on the inside, okay? Little trick, it's always so fun looking in the mirror. Um, little trick with lip liner too. If you have trouble keeping your lipstick on for a long time, um, A, use the lip primer, but B, you want to pencil in your lips so that when the lipstick or lip gloss wears off, you still have color on your lips, okay? So that's always a, a nice little trick to do. So I, I literally will, um, you know, fill in the lip. So this is a really pretty rose for our light pink kind of colors. There we go, really super simple. But that's the lip liner. And then this is a Supreme Hydrating Lipstick in Poetic Pink. And I'm just gonna give myself some lips and I'm good to go. So there you have it. I've got brows and I've got lips now. So the darker the lip, the smaller your lips will look, the lighter the lip color, um, the fuller your lips are going to look. So also it kind of ages you too. So if you wear darker lip colors as you get older, it will make you look even more mature. If you wear lighter colors as you get older, it's going to make you look younger. So that's also just a little um, side note with, uh, with colors of lipstick. So we have all different kinds of, um, formulations of lipsticks. So make sure to, you know, ask your consultant and check out, you know, all the different offerings that we carry. But um, thank you for watching. Make sure again to like and comment, share this video, and uh, let me know what other things you would like for me to share the next time I do this color clinic. I would love to know. And I'm also going to be posting um, later on a uh, a menu of all the different sets to choose from uh, based on all of the topics that I covered with this um, color series. So I will post that and uh, you can enjoy those specials. It's just for for you guys that actually watch these videos um, and you can ex get a great special and great deal on those. So I will post those so that way you get those um, personally, but I really appreciate you tuning in and I will catch you next time.